Hello, you lovely people. Uh, Jamie here. So we're going to do an incredible, classic, family-friendly, beautiful ragu. Perfect as a base for loads of great dishes like spaghetti bolognese, lasagna, chili and cannelloni. It's economical, filling, dead easy to knock up in a big batch and store in the freezer for a rainy day. Plus, it's a great way to sneak extra veg into your kids at mealtimes. There's loads more great recipes like this over on Family Food Tube right now. Please go and check out our channel after this video. Right, let's get cracking. We're gonna get ourselves some rosemary, two nice big sprigs. Grab the stalk and pull it off. Chop that up. And then next to it, I've got some lovely smoked bacon. 100 grams. I'm just slicing this bacon up. If you are a parent of a baby that's weaning, you wouldn't use the bacon because it's got salt in it. We'll put a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in a pan. Let's whack it onto full whack. Go in with the rosemary and the smoky bacon. So that's the beginning of our story. I've got one kilo of minced beef and one kilo of minced pork. In it goes. And we'll just break that up. If budget is a real issue, what you can use is half as much minced meat, no problem at all, and maybe go in with a sort of similar amount of lentils. And honestly, sometimes if you get the method that like I'm gonna teach you right, it's really hard to tell the difference. Can you see how the water is coming out of the meat? That's fine. We'll keep stirring it for about 10 minutes until it starts to fry again, until we get lovely, lightly golden mince meat. Listen, guys, can you hear that? That's a good sound. If it's sticking, if it's sizzling, that means flavour. And of course, if you say that a couple of minutes later, that means burnt, so don't burn it. Keep your eyes peeled. So look, that's now browning off beautiful. I'm gonna rattle up a load of my veg in here. It's easy, it's quick, and is very uniform. So we're gonna use two onions, four carrots, and zip it up. Cut that up to the same size as the mincemeat. Go in with the onions, do exactly the same. You could add other things in. A little bit of squash, zucchini or courgettes is really, really good. Four sticks of celery. Lovely colours. Stir all these veggies in, intense flavours. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So look, I'm going to stir that every minute for the next 10 minutes and then I'll add all the wet stuff. So, have a look at that. This has been cooking, come here. This has been cooking now for about uh, 20 minutes in total, okay? So we've really developed flavor. Go in with two heaped tablespoons of tomato puree. This is just gonna give it a lovely depth. And then we're gonna go in with four lovely tins of plum tomatoes. Now, another little tip, if you want the best, sweetest, most perfect tomatoes, always plums. As far as regular tomatoes are concerned, anything that's not quite perfect then gets chopped or turned into passata. Fill up your four tins that are empty with water and it will look quite wet when you stir it in, but don't worry because that's gonna simmer now uh, on a gentle heat for about one and a half hours, two hours, and that will reduce down. The plum tomatoes will just naturally break up when you give it a little stir and you're gonna create the most wonderful, beautiful, robust, ragu sauce. Remember, we've made twice as much as we need. So that's, you know, possibly another 10 meals. You can bag it up in the freezer for months. Just run it under a tap and plop it out of this bag into a pan and you can reheat it in minutes. Minutes, minutes, minutes. Brilliant little tips. Don't forget to label it. Squeeze the air out. The thinner it goes, the quicker it's gonna freeze and the quicker you can reheat it, okay? So we'll zip it up like that, let it go to room temperature, and then actually put it in the freezer shelf just like that, okay? And then it'll go super hard, and then you can rack it up. Almost like a library of kind of edible books. Really good little tip. That is my classic, humble family ragu. My guys love it. I hope you love it. Uh, if you want the recipe, hit the link below. Somewhere down there, there'll be a recipe. Uh, also, guys, we've just launched a new channel, and that's the Family Food Tube channel. 
Hit the link now, hit the link and go subscribe if you're a parent. And that channel is all about doing recipes and talking to parents and really trying to help them uh, make being a great parent and cooking beautiful fresh food easier and better. But guys, until next time, thank you very much. Bye. I've used this ragu to make a dead easy lasagna over on Family Food Tube. Your family will love it. Hit the box on the screen or follow the link in the description box below to watch it right now.